Hey guys, Seventh here. It is Christmas time. As you can see, I've got a nice warm fire going in the fireplace. Get that right, Eighth. Yeah. And uh, this is a video where we're just going to show off uh, everything that we got for Christmas. So you ready? Here we go. First up, we've got Dragon Quest Heroes for PS4. This is the Slime Edition. Or as uh, Eighth has been saying all morning, the Little Blue Turd Edition. Comes in this little uh, treasure chest, and it's got some little goodies in there, like a lanyard and some uh, stickers and stuff like that. So, there's that. Next up, we got Disney Infinity 3.0, the starter kit, and also got a Darth Maul figure to go along with it. I wanted to get uh, Eighth the... Uh, the expansion set that has uh, Leia and uh, Luke Skywalker in it, but I couldn't find it anywhere. It was sold out everywhere I went. Next up, we've got a Neo Geo Pocket Color and five games. Now, two of them are Metal Slug games, and there's a, a kind of a puzzle bobble game and a game called Dark Arms, and then there's a, a, a fighting game in there, but I can't remember what the name of it is. Thank you, Abby, for walking into the shot. Thank you, Kirby, for walking into the shot, too. Anyway, there you go. Neo Geo Pocket Color. Next up, we've got some Game Boy games and some NES games. That's uh, Robo Warrior, Dash Galaxy, <laughs> Mad Max, which is a terrible game, and uh, Metal Mech. And then you've got Godzilla for the original Game Boy and Godzilla Domination for Game Boy Advance, which it plays more or less like, uh, oh, what's that game, uh, King of the Monsters? For uh, Neo Geo, it plays like that, but it's Godzilla themed. Next up, we've got Yoshi's Woolly World for the Wii U. I got him the version that came comes with the little amiibo, and the amiibo is actually a plushie. It's all soft and squishy, and just has the little amiibo uh, medallion thing at the bottom of it. I don't really know much about the amiibos. I don't collect them, but whenever there's a better version of the game, if it's not super expensive, that's the version I'll get just for the. Uh, collectible aspect of it so I got him that one instead. Next up we got four Wii U games here. We got Splatoon, uh, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, Sonic Lost World which I know is not that great of a game but it was an exclusive that 8th was missing and Devil's Third or should I say Devil's Turd. At any rate it was an exclusive that he didn't have so I got it for him for Christmas. Um, uh, I told him it was uh, made by the guy that did the Ninja Gaiden games and he just kinda looked at me I don't know if he's excited about it or trepidatious what do you think 8th? Uh, I could go either way you could go either way? okay next up next up we got two LEGO Dimension expansion packs here we got the Scooby-Doo set and the Simpsons set there you go here's a quick little one-off got Rambo First Blood Part 2 for the Sega Master System complete in the box and here we have some PS2 games. We've got one of my all-time favorites, Champions of Norath. You've got Castlevania, Lament of Innocence, Silent Hill 2, Silent Hill 3, and Silent Hill 4, all complete in the box. Next up, just some random stuff. We've got Zelda Phantom Hourglass for the DS, Dragon Quest Swords for the Wii, and Silent Hill Homecoming for the Xbox 360. Why on the 360 and not on the PS3? Because the PS3 version didn't have trophies and 8th likes to earn stuff. Whether it be achievements or trophies or even stuff on Steam. Alright, every year I uh, pick up a gag gift for 8th. Uh, sometimes it's uh, really elaborate and sometimes not so much. Don't do that for the waifu here who's deeply entrenched in her phone. But... Uh, we do, uh... I'm looking at your stuff that you tweeted. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, uh, we do... She's lying to you. <laughs> we do usually pick up a gag <laughs> gift for, uh, eighth. And we were always making fun of people that had lawn gnomes in their yard. And so, uh... Knowing that he's a fan of Godzilla, I got him this. Which is basically a Godzilla-type monster, and he's eating... Uh, lawn gnomes and he's crushing them underfoot as you can see 
So that gnome's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, and that one's screaming for help, and yeah, it was, it was just a funny little thing that I got him as an inside joke, because we're always mocking people that have <clears throat> lawn gnomes in their yard. Next, we got three Vita games. We've got uh, Tokyo Ghost Hunters, or Tokyo Twilight Ghost Hunters, Lost Dimensions, and the special edition of Legend of Heroes: Trails of Cold Steel. That's the uh, Xseed special edition there. Next up, we've got three, count them, three whole Xbox One games. Gears of War Ultimate Edition, Project Spark, and Halo 5. That makes our collection up to eight Xbox One games. No, there's more than that. We've got more than that, if you go over there and look. But, uh, yeah, I was going to get him Scream Ride, because he likes theme park type stuff. But oddly enough, uh, none of the shops that I frequent had any copies of it, and uh, they wanted thirty dollars for it on Amazon, and I just didn't think that game was worth thirty bucks. But anyway, there, there's the Xbox One showing for this year. <laughs> People are always asking about the Blu-ray collection. Well, here's some stuff we got for eight this year. This is Vacation, Pixels, uh, Black Blood Brothers, which is an anime series that I liked when I first saw it, and so I. Picked it up for 8th because I thought he'd like it too. Big Hero 6, Wreck-It Ralph, and Ant-Man. So, there's some Blu-rays. Alright, here's PS4 Batch 1. You got Dishonored Definitive Edition, The Talos Principle Deluxe Edition, DMC Definitive Edition, Wasteland 2 Director's Cut, Sword Art Online Lost Song, and Tearaway Unfolded. Next batch of PS4, please. PS4 Batch 2, you got... Wolfenstein the Old Blood, Assassin's Creed Unity, which was on sale on Black Friday for 10 bucks, so why the hell not? Uh, Murdered Soul Suspect, uh, Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, One Piece Pirate Warriors 3, Metro Redux, and the special edition of Devil May Cry 4. Okay, here's some random stuff. You got two $20 Steam cards for 8, and then... A special order. I had to wait a year and a half to show up in the mail. That's Pure Solar for the Dreamcast. A Kiss Pinball for the PS1 because 8th is a Kiss Mega fan. And the original Silent Hill. Yes, it is the Greatest Hits edition, but still didn't come cheap. So, there we go. Now we got some PS3 games. We got uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2, Devil May Cry HD Collection. Mugen Soul Z, which is the sequel there. This one's called Magus. Now, I am told that this is the worst PlayStation 3 exclusive ever made. So we're going to test that theory. If it ends up being true, expect a don't buy this shit video on that one. Then you've got Painkiller, Hell and, Damna Hell and Damnation, which is a remake of the game that was released on PC and original Xbox years ago, and Splatterhouse for PS3, which was one eighth actually requested by name for Christmas this year, along with, quote-unquote, as much Silent Hill stuff as you can get me and as much Devil May Cry stuff as you can get me. So, so you got me all. I got it. Well, not all of the well, Silent Hill stuff, but most of it, yep. All right, next up. Got some retro Nintendo here. We got uh, Superman 64. Which, believe it or not, 8th actually asked for that for Why? Christmas. Why? Who knows? I think it's because he thinks the video that AVGN did for this game was particularly amusing. But also, he just seems to have some strange affinity for really, really crappy games. Uh, then you've got Rocketeer for the Super Nintendo, and you've got Gun Force for the Super Nintendo, which Gun Force is kind of a clone of Contra. It's a two-player simultaneous side-scrolling action shooter. So there you go. Next up you've got the collector's edition of Xenoblade Chronicles X. Uh, comes with a nice art book, comes with a little mini poster thing that's kind of a lithograph almost, and uh, a USB drive that's not your standard USB drive. The connector on it looks like it would pretty much only fit in a Wii, uh, Wii U, but uh, it's got a weird texture to it. It's kind of a die cast, almost like a little matchbox car. It's pretty cool, though. Anyway, Xenoblade Chronicles X. This is why I haven't been playing it. It's because I bought it when it came out, but it's been sitting wrapped up 
as a present for 8th since uh, I picked it up. So, there you go. Okay, next up, this was some stuff for the waifu. This is uh, Dungeon Travelers 2 for the Vita up here. And then Deception 4 for the PS4. And then Persona 4 Dancing All Night Collector's Edition for the Vita, which she's very happy about because she's absolutely obsessed with Persona. She eats, sleeps, and breathes it. And then you have Corpse Party Blood Drive for the Vita, also the Collector's Edition. Sarah is also a super fan of Supernatural, so I had to pick the waifu up volumes 1 through 10 of Supernatural on Blu-ray. Oddly enough, they didn't have the box set in a traditional uh, Region 1 release, so I had to buy a Region 3 box set to be able to get them all. So, there you go. Seasons 1 through 10 of Supernatural. All right, some more random stuff. Brave Story for PSP. It's one of the best turn-based RPGs that ever came out for the PSP. Then the PS3 version of Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel Collector's Edition. Vita version was for 8th, and the PS3 version was for Sarah. And then you have Super Castlevania 4 for the SNES, which was one that uh, the waifu specifically asked for. So, there you go. Alright, this is the last pile here. We got Fallout 4 for PS4. Got three games for the 3DO, which is uh, Samurai Showdown, Dragon's Lair, and Alone in the Dark. Now, of course, I never really have cared for the 3DO boxes, and uh, the waifu knows this. So when she bought me these for Christmas, she got them for me disc only, knowing that I am going to eventually create my own custom boxes for it kinda similar to what you see here this is a box that I made for Total Eclipse for the 3DO it's got full artwork and everything looks nice looks really cool on the shelf and that's what we're gonna be doing here I'm gonna be making custom boxes for the three of those but then finally you've got uh, Terminator Genesis on Blu-ray so that is everything that uh, was purchased for Christmas at Casa de Seventh. As you can see, there's just stuff piled everywhere. And so, and we picked up two PlayStation Gold wireless stereo headsets, one for eighth and one for me. They had them on sale, half off for $49.95 a piece. So I capitalized on it. Additionally, I should also mention that I got 8th Star Wars Battlefront because he wanted it real bad. And he ended up getting it as an early Christmas present because I always give him one early Christmas present every year. He really wanted RPG Maker real bad. And they had a sale on their website where you could get the $70 edition for 14 bucks. So I went ahead and got him that too because it was a limited time sale. So he also got that. So... Those are some other things. Plus, uh, I also got him uh, Grand Theft Auto 4, the complete edition, for PS3. But it didn't show up in the mail yet, so he's still waiting on that one. And then uh, my darling waifu apparently bought me a couple of other things that she hasn't told me about yet that didn't show up in the mail yet either. So there's still more goodies on the way on top of everything that uh, you're seeing right now. Okay, so I was sitting down to put all this together and upload the video and the two other things that uh, lovely waifu ordered for me for Christmas showed up. This is Kasumi Ninja for Jaguar and Zool 2 for Jaguar, so add those to the list there. Oh, and she also ordered me Way of the Warrior for 3DO, but that one hasn't shown up yet. So, there you go. There's the full list. Moving on. There we go. There's our Christmas. So, uh, feel free to share and let us know what you got, any cool game pickups you got. Leave us in the comments, post links to videos, however you want to handle it. Till next time, this is 7th.